Before I start today's lecture, a warning guys. I do not recommend this lecture for those who are afraid of death. <laughs> no, I'm just joking. But yeah, I mean, when I say death, you guys will be like, Man, why are you talking about death? Can't you just talk about something else? You just ruin all my pleasures and joys. Let's just change the topic, man. I don't want to talk about death. And I don't want to hear about death. I know, man. Nobody wants to talk about it. Death. Ooh, cold and scary word. But guys, we certainly know that. The appointed hour is unknown. And death may come to us at any time. And it does not differentiate between young and old. So let's look at the face of death and know what it wants from us. Why God created death? Okay, we shall point out four of the aspects of death. First one, death is a great blessing. Or is it? I mean, how come death can be a great blessing, man? I mean, I was gonna marry I was, I was gonna buy a house, I order a new car, you know, I had $50,000 in the bank, I was gonna go to Paris, and I have already, you know, booked a five-star hotels, and that came and took everything with it. It's all over now. How come that can be a great blessing, man? Let's see. That is a great blessing because it means one is free from the duties and obligation of life which become burdensome. Okay guys, imagine a soldier who has got lots of duties and obligations and responsibilities when he is doing his military service. But once he is he's finished with his military service, so he is free from all of the duties, obligation and, and responsibilities. Just like how that is freeing us from duties, obligations and responsibilities of this world. No more work, no more stress, everything is over. We are freed, we are discharged from duties of the world. It is also a door through which one passes in order to join and be united with one's friends. 99 out of 100 of whom are already in the intermediate realm. So guys, think of your beloved ones. Your children, parents, sisters, brothers, your good friends, best friends, your dudes, mites. All of them are in London or in Istanbul. And you are the only one left in here. So if I, if I ask you that, would you like to go there to join them too? What would you say? Yes, of course, I want to go there. I want to be with them. Right? So guys, all of our good friends, beloved ones, are either there or will be there. So would you still be afraid of it? Or think that is destruction, nothingness, extinction or eternal separation? Of course not. Right? Guys, do not suicide, but we cannot join our beloved ones if we do not pass through that door, which is death. So, this is another reason why that is a great blessing to us. There are numerous factors like old age, which makes life arduous and show death to be a far superior blessing okay guys let's say there is no death what will happen if we do not die then we will be old the sickness and struggles will appear you'll have more pain imagine that you're 85 years old now you can't eat everything you want to you can't move fast your body will be super weak and you'll be like oh I have to go to the doctor I've got high blood pressure, tension, I've got rheumatism, I have to take this and that medicine. Maybe you won't be able to walk 
to the next room even but now it's so easy you just get up and run to the next room right because you are young now but you'll be old one day so in short life will be harder if there is no that will be facing all of those problems that I have mentioned so now you decide if that is a blessing or not the fourth one just as sleep is a comfort a mercy a rest particularly for those afflicted by disaster and the wounded and the sick so too is that the elder brother of sleep is a pure blessing and mercy for the disaster struck and those who suffer tribulation that drives them to suicide when you are sick sleeping is like a great rest for you right just like the same way that is a great blessing a great mercy for those who have who has unbearable sufferings unbearable sickness guys if you really want to feel and understand this topic go to the hospital and meet with the people who have unbearable disaster sickness and sufferings every day and ask them this question do you still want to live like this or would you rather want to die they will most probably say no I don't want to live like this I can't take this anymore and I would rather want to die instead of suffering every day so guys come to your senses now and listen to it what it seeks from you love in that space like a man and know what it wants from you your signs away